So we've analysed all the forces of nature in Miraculous Ladybug. The moon, the rain, the broken moon, the sun. So I thought, why stop now? We're on a roll. Roses make a reoccurring appearance in the show, and so I couldn't help but to pick up on its symbolism. Hey guys, welcome welcome back to my channel, it's your girl the Cartoon Hotspot, and if you want to find out what the deeper meaning behind roses is, then don't go anywhere, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new, hit that thumbs up, and turn on that bell button for post notifications. Without further ado, let's begin. You guys already know how these types of videos work. As usual, we'll start with the general symbolism of roses before getting into the specifics such as its significance to the series and what the symbolism of each different coloured rose is because as we know, we've seen red, magenta, pink and even yellow roses. To understand the general symbolism of roses, we first need to understand why people give flowers. Flowers in general are given to express affection or gratitude towards someone you care about. And think about the immediate impact it has on a person receiving them. Flowers are said to have the ability to radiate happiness and even as the giver yourself, the feelings of joy are invaluable. Bottom line is, flowers are used to communicate emotions, to allow a person to establish an intimate connection. We clearly see this in Miraculous Ladybug and there are several cases where Cat Noir has showered Ladybug with roses in an attempt to win her over. Some examples I will be discussing are Lady Noir balcony scene in Glass Theatre, Lady Noir and Eijigami scene in Froza, Marisha scene in Where Dad and Lady Noir scene in the New York special. Glass Theatre is one of my favourite episodes of the series, mainly because of the gorgeous moon scenes. After seeing a different side to Cat Noir, realising how sensitive and thoughtful he can be, Ladybug finally turns up to the surprise he made for her. She tells him that he's more than just a partner, he's a friend. However, even though Ladybug was rejecting him, this scene turned out to be one of the most wholesome and beautiful scenes. Cat Noir responds with a smile on his face, stating that her friendship means everything to him, handing her the rose as it goes well with her costume. Ugh, I want what they have. Now notice the colour of the rose. Cat Noir gives her a red rose. What does this mean? Well, red roses symbolise passion, true love, romance and desire. In this example, the rose is a deep shade of red. Keep that in mind as in the next example we discuss, the rose is a slightly lighter shade of red. A deep red rose means a person is ready for commitment and highlights a deeper bond between two people. Emphasis on deeper bond. Like I said, in this scene, a bond between Ladybug and Cat Noir was established, a bond beyond just being friends, and as the series is progressing, we can clearly see just how much their friendship has grown. Through the ups and the downs, they know it will always be them against the world. Now, this might be me being a hopeless romantic and a diehard Lady Noir shipper, but remember when I said a red rose signifies commitment and enduring passion? To me, it felt like Cat Noir was telling Ladybug that he's ready to support her, to uplift her, even if she doesn't return his romantic feelings. Because as he's rightly said, her friendship means everything to him. We know Cat Noir loves Ladybug for who she is and not what she is. That means her flaws, her strengths, her amazing qualities, and he's even seen her at her most vulnerable. Cat Noir has always and will always be there for her. The Red Rose was his sort of way of promising her. Now, Froza. Froza for me is a very forgotten episode. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I rewatch season two, which by the way is the best season of the show thus far, I never rewatch Froza. Anyways, Froza was the episode which basically confirmed Lucana and Ejigami would be a thing, or at least play a bigger role later on in the series. At the beginning of the episode, Cat Noir tries to swoon Ladybug by handing her another red rose, which she rejects this time. Obviously, Cat Noir is absolutely heartbroken, but after talking to Kagami, he decides to give her the rose instead. And we see later on in season 3, the episode Oni-chan, Kagami kept that rose all this time, obviously treasuring it dearly. But I want to talk about the colour of the rose. It's not a deep shade of red like we saw in Glaciator. This one has a hint of pink to it. It could just be inconsistent animation because in some scenes it looked deep red but for the most part it appeared raspberry red so let's just go with that. Because the rose is not a deep shade of red this symbolizes that Adrian and Kagami don't really have that intimate and passionate connection in the same way Ladybug and Cat Noir do. 
Also, the way in which Adrian gave Kagami the rose, it seemed very half-hearted, with a fake it till you make it kind of smile, compared to the broad grin on his face when he gave Ladybug the rose back in Glaciator. Maybe this signifies how Adrigami is one-sided, and that's not to say the two of them don't have a connection. They do. It's just not the connection they believe they have. If you've watched one of my videos on why Adrigami was never destined to work out, you'd know what I'm talking about. In short, however, Adrian and Kagami believe they are in love. Well, more so Kagami. Just because they have so much in common. They mistook their connection for something romantic. The rose Adrian gave Kagami has a hint of pink, and pink roses symbolise gratitude. So perhaps when Adrian gave her the rose, he was saying, thank you for cheering me up. Thank you for being a friend, which Kagami misunderstood. Okay, I have to put this question to you guys. I've seen a lot of people say the episode where dad sort of ruined Mary Chat's dynamic, but I actually disagree. If anything, it strengthened their friendship, not ruined it. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. After thinking Cat Noir might discover she's Ladybug, Marinette panics and blurts out that she's in love with him, to his surprise. Tom then invites Cat Noir for brunch, but things take a quick downturn. Adrian appears pretty torn since the last thing he wants to do is break Marinette's heart. And as a way of kindly rejecting her, hoping she wouldn't be too heartbroken, he decides to give her a pink rose. A pink rose represents femininity, elegance, but also gratitude and admiration. This is what Adrian thinks of Marinette, someone he admires, someone he is grateful for. And I hate to be that person, especially considering the fact that I have a love-hate relationship for the phrase, but she's just a friend. Sorry guys, you knew it was coming. Considering the whole episode is a Marisha episode, it makes sense why he gave her a pink rose. Marisha is the bridge between Lady Noir and Adrianette, the side where no romantic feelings are involved, more or less. Therefore, it's completely platonic. I think the pink rose symbolises Cat Noir's gratitude for Marinette. He's grateful to have her as more than an acquaintance. He can generally call her a friend, because as we know, he can be free with her. He can be vulnerable around her. I also can't help to think that he never really got the chance to thank Marinette for cheering him up back in the episode Glaciator. So who knows, maybe the pink rose was his way of thanking her. But let's jump back to where I said a pink rose symbolises admiration. To put it to you, Adrian admires Marinette. There's no doubt about that. He admires how passionate she is about fashion. He admires how she's always willing to stick up for a friend and how she goes through all manners of length to help them. He admires everything about Marinette. And I've seen a lot of theories that Adrian might be suppressing his feelings for her, whether he knows it or not, because he's afraid of ruining something solid they have, that is, their friendship. And to be honest, it makes sense, which is probably why he was so scared of hurting her, and so gave her a pink rose to compensate for that. Now for the New York special. At the beginning of the special, after defeating Mr. Pigeon yet again, Cat Noir hands Ladybug a yellow rose, which she initially rejects, telling him to stop giving her flowers. He states himself that yellow roses mean friendship. It's funny how yellow flowers used to symbolise jealousy and greed, but now it's a token of appreciation, care and friendship. And if you think about it, it makes sense, right? Since Ladybug responds by saying Cat Noir is the best partner anyone could ever ask for. Gifting a yellow rose to a friend conveys warmth and affection and can be a great way to show your delight. And it's not a coincidence that the New York special was the turning point of Adrianette and Lady Noir. It finally dawned on Ladybug how much Cat Noir means to her and Adrian unknowingly catches feelings for Marinette. Whether or not you consider the special to be canon to this series, you can't deny it has some relevance in season four, seeing how Ladybug acts around Cat Noir and Adrian acts around Marinette. Either way, the yellow rose holds weight. They appreciate each other greatly. Okay, shout outs for this week. Last week, I asked you guys what type of scenes are your favourite, whether you prefer the moon scenes, the rain scenes, or the sunset scenes. And so here are the shout outs for those. Shout outs to Devon Zane, Ari, Queen Molly, Stephanie Cruz, Tiki Dupen Cheng, French underscore Fry, Ali B, Kai Nightshade, and Subir Gozhal. 
And for next week's video, if you want to shout out, let me know down in the comments whether you'd prefer the reveal to play the song in the rain. So basically the background song for this video. Or if you prefer the slowed piano version of the Miraculous Ladybug theme song to play. I for one would love it if In The Rain played for the reveal. It's just so iconic considering how much I love the original umbrella scene. So as we can see, roses have a big significance in the show. There are other colour roses such as blue, white and orange, which haven't really appeared in the series, but who knows? Maybe they'll make an appearance soon. If they do, I'll be sure to analyse them. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to comment down your thoughts, share this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. As for today, that's it from me and I'll see you again next time. Bye!